Hello everyone. In our previous video we had a view on a linear ODE with just a scalar structure. Now we're going to extend that a little bit more by considering a linear autonomous ODE where the state x is basically a vector with up to n states and therefore our parameter which was a scalar a beforehand is now a matrix a or capital A which has n times n elements inside. So we therefore have basically n times n constants. The question is now how can we calculate the time response, the system response of such a linear ODE giving some initial state x0 in this vectorial case. And the nice thing is that in contrast to our scalar case we can basically just reutilize the same Ansatz equation just with a little bit more complex e function which is x of t is identical to e to the power of a times t times x0. And this maybe looks a little bit strange to some of you which maybe did not see a matrix on top of an e function but this is actually well defined and we can call this the matrix exponential. The matrix exponential is actually uh, just a generalization of the scalar exponential which we have seen in the previous video and similar also to the scalar uh, exponential function we can express the matrix exponential as a series expression which is the sum of k starting at zero to infinity of t to the power of k divided by k faculty times a to the power of k. We put this here into parentheses and multiply it with x0 from the right hand side. So this should look very familiar for most of you with respect to the uh, scalar exponential function. The basic new element is here that we calculate a to the power of k so this is a matrix. Uh, multiplication with itself k times. So we will in the next video, not in this video, but in the next video we will also have a look how we can actually calculate this serious expression in a more distinct closed form way because nobody wants to calculate the series up to infinity elements so we need some alternative expression how to actually solve that, uh, how to get this information. But for now what I would like just to discuss with you is that this Ansatz expression, so this approach equation, actually solves our linear ODE with multiple states. And in order to do so we basically will just insert this equation once again into our ODE. So what we do is we again calculate d dt with respect to both sides. And what we get then, of course, on the left hand side here is x dot of t. And that is identical to the time derivative of our matrix exponential, which is then starting at 1, going towards infinity. And then that is k times t k minus 1, so that is basically the time derivative of this t to the power of k divided by k, k minus 1 faculty times a to the power of k times x0, our starting state. What we can now do is, after calculating this first order derivative, is we can reformulate the series expression which is now starting at 1 due to the time differentiation. And what we can basically do is, we can re-index starting with k at 0 and then rewrite this expression a little bit. Which becomes then, maybe I just do it here, k starting at 0 towards infinity. So if we start at 0 
instead of 1, of course, that can be simplified because k at 0 basically means that this does not really take place because k being 0 is just a 0. So we can rewrite this as c to the power of k. Also the same here for the faculty. So we can just write k faculty because the k zeros element will not change that here. But what will be changed is basically here this expression a k, which is then becoming a k plus 1 due to our reindexing times x0. And what we can basically see here is that this fraction here, of course, is the same fraction as our definition of the matrix exponential. And what we can just do is we can take one of these a's, right? So one of these a's and can put it basically in front. So what we get from that is a times e a t times x0, right? So if we take one of these a's, so this is just a scalar, so we can put this here on the left hand side in front, then this is our ansatz equation x of t. And if we compare this with our left hand side, so we have x dot is a times x of t, and this was actually our ODE model from which we have started. So with this, we have now proven or shown that this ansatz equation with the matrix exponential is actually delivering us a solution for our initial vectorial linear ODE problem. As already mentioned, to calculate this infinite series with respect to the matrix exponential, of course, is not really a nice thing to do. So we will, in the next video, we'll see one opportunity, one possibility among many others to calculate this in a more dense way in, in order to really find uh, a suitable expression which can be calculated with pen and paper. Thank you.